Okay, so what you see here, that is the posterior view. This is the anterior view of the sheep brain. So the students here did a mid sagittal cut. And now what we see here, this is the spinal cord. Then we have the medulla oblongata, the pons, and the midbrain. This is what we see here. This is the cerebellum, so, and with the arbor vitae. So the, this whitish structure, this is the arbor vitae. And then here, that is the cerebrum. We have here the like, frontal cortex. What we see really, uh, not really nice, but that looks a little bit um, manhandled, but all of our specimen kind of look, look like that. These here are the olfactory bulbs. Um, and they will kind of go become the olfactory nerve. We have it here. What we see here, that is still part of the dura mater, so one of the meninges. This here is the optic nerve. It goes down here to the eye. Other optic nerve goes through the other eye. And so, and we have here the optic chiasma. It is still covered by the meninges. But there, the optic nerve, they cross, so both of the optic nerves cross. And then this is what we call the optic chiasma. And that then will here become, the optic nerve will become the optic tract. So this is the peripheral nervous system. Now we'll go towards the central nervous system and there the nerve becomes a tract. But it's really nice to see here, this is the pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland is attached with the infundibulum or the stalk to the brain this has already detached but it's like it's not a big it's not a big problem but what we see here now that is the optic tract so was here the optic nerve so this passes through here that's now the optic tract and um, what we see here that is the mammillary body and we see some of the um, nerves here I will not go into a lot of detail because I feel they don't look that good in this case, but the ones that you need to know is the olfactory nerve or op, um, olfactory bulb and the optic nerves and the optic chiasma. When I open this up, um, what we see down here, that is the um, pineal gland. So pituitary gland was down here. This is the pineal gland. And um, here again, we see the optic nerve or object uh, the optic chiasma which has been cut and then I want to show you the pineal gland in this view so that here is now a coronal view a coronal cut so a frontal cut um, that is the posterior side of the brain and what we see here this is the pineal gland here we see the lateral ventricle and the other lateral ventricle and um, have a better view of right here. That's again also the lateral ventricles, both of them. And um, there's here what we see here. This is the septum pellucidum that separates the left and right lateral ventricles. So septum pellucidum down here. That is the third ventricle, and here we also see the third ventricle. So the third ventricle kind of, kind of turns around there. So we have ventricle like one and two, the both lateral, third ventricle. Now we are looking at the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle is down here. So down here, there is the fourth ventricle. And then it will become the, so that here is the fourth ventricle. Let's see if I have a, I see like a membrane here. That is the fourth ventricle. And then we have the aqueduct up here. Fourth ventricle, aqueduct, no, sorry fourth ventricle and then the aqueduct up there. And again, here, lateral ventricle. And this is really nice because we would expect to see a hollow part here, so it's similar to that for where the lateral ventricle is. However, this here is now the septum pellucidum again. What we see there, that is the corpus callosum. So this here is kind of the corpus callosum. Here we have the fornix, and there, I'm not sure if I already mentioned that, that is the thalamus, hypothalamus, 
And I think, did I forget anything? Anybody? I think I got most of it that, that you need to know. Okay, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.